I don't know what background you come from. But I want to tell you that, you know, you are not a mistake being born in this world. I, I thought I was a mistake. My father was a scientist who designed aeroplanes. My mom was with a Christian radio station. And looking at me as the firstborn, they had such great expectations. They put me in the best of the best schools. Everything was great to the point when I was nothing but just the opposite of my father's expectations. And I was called worthless, useless. I was beaten every day from the age of 6 to 16. Had to get up at 4.45 in the morning to study. When everybody used to go and play during the vacation times, I was locked in the house to study. This was my life. And teachers called my mom and dad and said, we don't need useless children like your, ch your son. Take him off this 10th grade. We don't like to have him in a school. This was my life. And I was given wrong medication at the age of two. From two till 16, I was on high dosage of cortisone steroids. And doctors found out at the age of 16 that I have six months to live because 60% of my lungs got damaged and my immune system broke down and I started to develop rheumatoid arthritis. And all these things, the question comes, where is God? Some of us might be asking that question, where is God? Am I really a plan of God? Am I really a masterpiece of God with 40% lungs? Can you call me a masterpiece? With just six months left with the medical reports, can I be his workmanship? It's a question. And I want to tell you, my friends, when I looked at Jesus, what he did on the cross for my sin, for my life, and when he said he could transform my life, I remember at 16, I was at the verge of committing suicide. I want to tell you, if there's anyone who is, who is at that verge of thinking of committing suicide, it's not at all a great decision. But I thank God I heard his voice. He said, even though you are called useless, I still need you. I told him, God, I have nothing to offer other than my broken life. He says, that's all I need, Benny, is your life. And I gave my life to Jesus, having nothing, no talents, no education, no health, no future. He takes my life. He transforms my life. Just like what he promised in the Bible. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. And he brought newness into my life. And he transformed my life and made me a new creation. And no more, I believed that I was a mistake. But I knew that God had a perfect plan for my life. I knew that he could use me. He could heal me completely. And I also believe that he could use me with 40% lungs. My friends, I just want to encourage you today is no matter what background you come from, how you were born. So don't believe the lie of the enemy that you are a mistake. Your nationality was a mistake. No, I thank God he has given me an Indian passport. <laughs> because even though the world told me that it's impossible for you to travel, but Jesus says, Benny, what is impossible for man is possible for me. And today he can do that in your life. He does not need our help. He needs our obedience. So get ready to hear his voice and to put that voice into practice. And you will become a testimony of righteousness for his glory. He has the power to do the ultimate miracle in our lives. Let's hold on to him. Don't give up. Never say never when God says now. I remember Pakistan was my last country. The, the government told there's only two ways I can go to Pakistan. The embassy told me, don't even come. Your visa is rejected automatically. If you have a blood relative or if the government of Pakistan invites you. And there was no hope for me. The only hope I had was the word of God. Because God told me that he's going to take me to every nation. And since he's not a man that he lies, I could only rely on him. Holding on to his promises. God, I'm holding on to you, but time is running. But God is never late according to his time, because timing is father's business. You know, timing is father's business. If there is anybody in the wilderness, you know, this is a story for you. I went to North Korea, and on the 29th of April, I arrived there. There was this 43-story uh, hotel called Yang Dakto. I came out of the 32nd floor. I heard two people speaking in a local language in India called Hindi. I turned around in shock and amazement and I said, wow, you're speaking in Hindi. They said, no, this is Urdu. Urdu is 50% Hindi and 50% Arabic. 
They asked me, who are you? I told them, I asked them, who are you? They told, we are the official delegation from the Pakistani parliament. Then I told them my situation. They said, meet us at 10 o'clock at the room number. I checked the room number. It was diagonally opposite to my room. You know, it cannot be coincidence or good luck. No way. Not in North Korea. My friends, not in North Korea. And you sitting here this evening is not coincidence. It's a perfect plan of God. Receive that for your life. You being born here on this earth is a perfect plan of God. Receive that, my friends. So I went there at 10 o'clock in the night, took my guitar, played a song for them, shared my testimony, found out that it was the Speaker of the Parliament of Pakistan who was sitting there. He says, don't worry, Benny. This is a simple thing. Tell me when you have to go. I will call the ambassador and we'll do the rest of the things. And when I went back to India, I told him, he calls up the ambassador. Ambassador calls me on my cell phone and he says, the speaker called me just now. Can you please come to the embassy in five minutes? I will grant your visa. You know, God did the most impossible miracle. And it started off in the most impossible place. But the best thing was to put my faith and trust in him. Time spent waiting on God is never wasted. And he was able to accomplish what even the embassies told me it is impossible. The man who told me that you will never get your visa was asked to grant my visa. The same man, the same man, the same man, he told me, you will not get your visa. The ambassador asked him, grant, finish his visa in five minutes. What is impossible for, Jesus, for, for the world is possible for Jesus Christ. And I want to tell you, my friends, hold on to him. The world might say so many things. He is the greatest influence that we can ever have. You're looking for a job, be in the center of God's will. Wait on him. Don't try to look for influences in this world. He will do that miracle for your life. So never say never when God says now. Lastly, never say I'm useless when God says I need you. Never say I'm useless when God says I need you. And imagine God takes Simon Peter and makes him a fisher of men and women for his kingdom. If God could use Simon Peter, if God could use Benny Prasad, today God has a plan for you, for his kingdom. If God could take ordinary people for his extraordinary purpose, if he could provide for me, never asked for money, never borrowed money, debt free, he could take me to the nations. And this is the proof. And if he could do that with my life, he has a plan for your life. Don't give up, my friends, no matter what you're going through. He has the power to do the most amazing, extraordinary miracles. He has a great plan for you. Plans not to harm you, but to prosper you, to give you a bright hope and a future. But all that it takes is for you to surrender your life just as you are into his hands and allow him to mold your life in his time and according to his will. And I'll tell you, you will become a beautiful fragrance for his glory here on this earth and the life that's going to come there. If this video helpful for your spiritual growth, subscribe to this channel and share to your spiritual friends.